Hi guys, welcome back. So if you're new, my name is Shelby and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a full face of using products that I never reach for anymore. This is the end product. So if you want to see which products are flops and which ones aren't, then just keep on watching. So to begin, I'm going to start off by spraying my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I actually used to use this a lot and then I switched over to the green one that they have. So I don't really reach for this at all anymore. So I thought I would give it a little try today. All right, so let's move on to primer. I actually have two primers that I never reach for anymore. This is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream, and it's for anti-redness. So it's like a green little like cream that you're supposed to put over redness, and it's supposed to counteract it. I used to use this every single day, but I never reach for it anymore just because I guess it didn't really work for me as much as I wanted it to. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit on my hand. Oh, that's scary looking. So I'm just going to rub this on my cheeks, my chin. This is like so green on my forehead. I feel like it kind of makes me look a little yellow, so I think that's why I stopped using it. So, let's hope for the best today. I'm going to just pat it in. I see that I did like a little bit, but nothing crazy. So, I guess that's why I stopped using it. But it's really not that bad. I guess it did smooth out um, the discoloration and like the redness a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. So, the next primer is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I never reach for this anymore. I don't know why. I guess it just isn't one of my favorites anymore. So, I kind of want to give it... A world today to see if I still like it. I actually really like that primer. I don't know why I stopped using it. Maybe it just didn't um, allow my makeup to last a very long time. I feel like I just had better primers out there that made my makeup last longer. That might be it. So for my foundations today, <laughs> one of them is really dark and one of them is really light. So I definitely have to mix them <laughs> to get my shade right now. The first one is the Kat Von D Locket. I never use this. I've never, I think I've used this on my channel maybe one time in this whole time I've been on YouTube. So that just says a lot. And this is in the shade medium 56 neutral this is so dark like look at that shade next to this holy moly and then the other foundation that i never use anymore is the l'oreal infallible pro matte and this is in the shade 101 i believe this is the lightest shade they have so we're gonna mix these two shades together and hopefully get my skin tone <laughs> the kat von d is so thick i just don't like it on my skin i do remember that wearing it like first couple times I didn't like how heavy and thick it was on my skin it just didn't feel good it didn't last a long time so I guess we'll give it one more shot I'm just gonna dot this all over my face like always and then blend it out with a sponge I feel like the color is not too bad since I mixed a lot of that light color in with it sponge blends out foundation so fast. I actually stopped using this sponge as well and I used to love it. So I don't know why I stopped using some of these products because I actually love them. So for my concealer today, I'm going in with the NYX HD Studio Concealer. I never reach for this anymore as well. Um, I used to actually like this one also, so... I think I just don't like the applicator. It seems really small and it just doesn't apply a lot of product. Like look at how tiny that little applicator is. Like, oh, this is gonna take me 10 years. This is why I stopped using it because I hate concealers that you have to dip in 10 times. So I'm gonna blend this out first before I apply some on the other side. This shade is also very yellow toned and it does not suit my skin tone at all. Tell me how annoying that is, right? It's annoying me. I 
Oh, and look what just happened. Awesome. That concealer is gone after this video because I no likey. I did not like that at all. So I'm going to set my face with the Flower Beauty Loose Powder. It comes in this big honking thing right here. I hate when companies make their packaging this big. It's like, why do you gotta do that? Just make it a circle, make it compact. Nobody's got room for this. Like, think of how big this thing is. It's ridiculous. So this is in the shade L01. I think I used this once and hated it. So we're gonna see what happens. And I remember it being so messy. Like. This is just such a messy compact. This color is so dark. Look at how dark that color is. Holy moly. Shelby, you're gonna look like an Oompa Loompa today. Instead of lightening my under eye, it darkened it. That's why I don't use this powder, because it makes my under eyes darker than the rest of my face. This is a total fail. Man, this is a this is a fun video, man. I look so dark right now. I can't even take it. Alright, so we're just gonna keep going with the flow. I know I look a little orange. So I have two products for my brows. One of them is a pencil. This is from Winky Lux. Um, I tried this out in one of my BoxyCharm videos and did not like it. Just because of the applicator, it's like a little bit of a thicker applicator and I think it doesn't blend very well. And then to set my brows, I have the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And this is in the shade Chocolate. Usually I use clear brow gels instead of tinted ones, so this should be interesting. This brow looks a little better than this one, so I definitely have to clean them up. I just don't like this pencil. It's just too fat, it's too thick. You can't see where you're actually like stroking the product onto your brow. So it like, I don't know, it frustrates me. Like my brows look so messy right now. It's giving me a achida. So let me go grab that concealer that I threw to clean them up. <laughs> brows are looking a little better. They're not the worst. So let me dust off all this orange powder off my face. Uh, and wherever I didn't set my face, it looks lighter. So that's good. So the center of my face is darker than that perimeters today. It's a new trend. Get on it, guys. Does anyone hate when their translucent powder literally gets everywhere? Like, look at my sweater right now. Why? So now I'm going to set my brows with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This should be interesting as well. Just lightens them a little bit. This product's really not that bad. I actually kind of like it. It lightens the brows a little bit and sets them in place, so. I like it. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer, blush, and highlight. So for my bronzer today, I have this Wet n Wild contouring palette. Yeah. I'm going to try and set my under eyes with this banana shade and then contour and bronze with this deep, dark brown right there. So I'm just going to take like a flat brush like this, dip into the banana. That did brighten a little bit. It's really not that bad of a powder. It's really finely milled, sets into the face really nicely and doesn't make your face look cakey at all. So that's a nice powder. And then for my bronzer today, let's go into this deep dark brown right here. I feel like this would be a really nice color on like medium to deep skin tones just because this color is a little 
too dark for me right now. So for my blush today, I'm going in with the Revlon Oh Baby Pink um, blush. I never use this, ever. It's a pretty color, honestly, but I just never use it. So let's see if it's even still good. Definitely have to build up this formula to get like any color payoff on your cheeks, but it's not the worst. For my highlighter today, I actually have three. The first one is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Lightning Lighting Palette. Holy crap, can I not speak? And then the second is the Vivid Baked Highlighter. And then the third one is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in So Effing Gold. And this color is just so like tinted green. It does not look good on my skin tone whatsoever. Um, I've probably used it once. So let's do So Effing Gold on one cheek. Test it out. Anastasia brush. Like, do you see that green? It's green. Like, no, 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 no. I need to give that away. Definitely need to give that away. So let's do the Vivid Baked Highlighter on the other cheek. Wipe this brush off. See, these are like two of like, kind of like the same colors. This one is super white. I feel like it doesn't make my skin look prettier. You know what I mean? It just like looks a little weird. And then this one is straight green. So they're just not highlights that I go for. Just really too much for my skin, I guess. And then for the nose, let's go into the Tarte palette. So if I can open it, this is so hard to open. Um, I'm gonna dip into the shade right here. Actually, that came out pretty pigmented. Holy crap. What the heck? I don't know. Just like something about these highlighters. Like, like, look at how messy that is. Like, that is not pretty. I think this one just sits on top of the skin and it just doesn't look pretty. Like, that's just so much highlighter. Yeah, look, I can just blend it all away. It just sits on top of the skin. It doesn't, like, stay put, I guess. I have the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I do not like this liner because I can't get a wing with it. The brush is just so flimsy. I just can't get a wing with it. These are my wings. This is going in the trash, too. Or I'm going to give it to a friend. But I just don't have steady enough hands. As you can see right there, I messed up. I can't get a really sharp line, and this one is just a freaking hot mess. I don't have lashes that I don't reach for just because I always buy my Ardell Wispies, and I always use those in every tutorial. They're my favorite. So I'm just going to go in with a mascara that I don't necessarily reach for at all. And this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I just don't tend to reach for this at all. So... Let's see if it's any good. So I do not like that mascara. My lashes don't look good at all. <laughs> they look horrible to me right now. My lashes are so, like they're good lashes to have. And usually I can get them really curled and separated and just really pretty looking. And these just look really spidery and really scary. And it's so liquidy, it got all over. That never happens to me, like where I get it on my lid and stuff. So I just don't like this like formula and I don't think I like the applicator either. So now on to lips. I have two products. One of them is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. And then the next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills just liquid lipstick in Dusty Rose. It's too dark. I like it because the black sweater, you know what I mean? I do really like this color. It's such a pretty color, especially for the winter. It's like a berry color. 
but they just don't stay on my lips for a long time so the only time I would ever wear this is probably just for like pictures or just for a tutorial where I'm not gonna keep it on and like go out to eat or just have it on all day so it's really comfortable though oh this is the full tutorial finished look of products that I never reach for honestly I don't think I'll reach for any of these products except the Mario Badescu spray. I really like this e.l.f. primer again. I'm definitely going to start using this a lot more. I do not like the foundations, the concealer, the setting powder, the eyebrows. I do like the NYX little eyebrow tinted brow gel. I do like this. Ugh, don't like the mascara, don't like the liner, pretty much don't like anything else. Yeah. Those are all the products that I never reach for and the products that I will continue to reach for. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to figure out what products I really need to get rid of because there's definitely a lot more in these drawers that I don't use. So I definitely will be doing another video in the future. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join my S-Squad. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.